Hello everybody and welcome to the University of Derby Library Skills Team very first live stream. So I think that's quite exciting. We've been talking about this for a while and it's exciting that we're here doing it. Are we excited? Yes. Yes, very much awesome. so. <laughs> excited is what we want. Um, so we're going to talk, we thought for this first one, about reading for pleasure. And we're going to talk about things we like to read. Mm -hmm. So, let's start with you, Catherine. What do you do when you're reading to, for, for pleasure? What do you read? Um, so, I'm really into this author called Mary Roach. Uh, she, is, she used to be a journalist, she probably still is. Um, she lives in America and she writes about science. I'm not a scientist at all, but um, she writes about science in such a way that I can understand it and I'm in, interested and intrigued by what she's talking about. So, non fiction? Non-fiction, mm. yeah. I wouldn't usually class myself as a non-fiction reader, um, but she writes about it from a, an experience perspective. So because she does it like that, like her experience of going to this research department and what they were doing there and how it made her feel, I learn about what they're doing as well as feeling that emotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about that, you, Dana? What do you read? I wish to have introduced herself. That was a really poor live stream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pause on Diana and I'm going to do introductions and then you see so you, you hold that yeah. answer, Diana. This is Diana. Hello. <laughs> this is Catherine. Hi. And I'm Naomi and we all work here in the skills team in the library. The other member of our skills team, I said I would mention this and I'm going to, is our lovely Alex who is at this moment crawling underneath the desks in front of us is putting on some headphones, I think, to hear what we sound like. You may see him on the camera, I don't know, because when we tested whether or not you could, the camera was in a totally different position. So you may have just seen Alex's head. I don't know. Um, but, oh, the headphones have come off. I'm assuming that means all's well. Oh, no, there's more crawling. There's more crawling. Anyway, Alex is in charge of all the technical stuff, for which we are very indebted. If you can hear sound right now, that's Alex. Alex and moving some him, chairs. And again, you can see him. him. It's Alex as well. <laughs> Um, so that's us in the skills team. He's, he's now crawling backwards underneath the desks. Diana, what yes. do you do to read for pleasure? So currently I'm reading a book about motivation. I'm also a non-fictional reader, mm. um, which is really interesting. It's called Drive, um, and it's, wrote, it's written by um, Daniel Pink. Okay. And it's about the different types of motivation and... Um, the drivers to the motivation in different situations. It's really good for work, but for personal life as well. Um, and I'm also beauty blogger reader. I uh, can yes. say I have like favorite authors or blogs, but I'm reading bits and books from everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I'm one of the, those persons that spend the fortune for skincare, so I love reading a lot about mm -hmm. different stuff before. But it makes sense if you're going to spend on it. <laughs> if you've just heard the door go, Alex has left, possibly. <laughs> just all got a bit much <laughs> the whole experience he's left the room completely i think he's probably doing some kind of check on how we're going live um wonderful or he just went away oh he's just gone yes it, that might be it we may never see alex again we might have to do this forever because <laughs> <laughs> alex is in charge of telling us when to stop <laughs> um, oh they always come back it's all right he's come back so that's really interesting because when I read for pleasure, it's very much fiction. Mm. I, I can listen when I listen to audiobooks, I do better with non-fiction. If I'm going to mm. um, do non-fiction, I like to listen to it. Mm. But reading, um, very much fiction. Mm. But I'm I'm really bad. I need to I have to push myself to read different kinds of books because what I do is I have key series of books, so quite long series, um, and I just reread them again and again and again. So my favourite all-time book is Dune by Frank Herbert, which is the first book of a classic science fiction series. Um, and you read that first one and then you read Children of Dune and then you read the next one, Dune Messiah, and then you go... And, um, and then his son came back and wrote more. Mm -hmm. So then, then you got to read House Harkonnen and House Artredi. And then by the time you get to the end of them, you think, well, that was really interesting. And it actually, it ties back to that first one. So I think I'll read that first one again. And because it's so long, <laughs> the number of books, I can do that. I can read a whole series maybe three times in a row before I think, wait a second, it's now been about a year and a half yeah. and I've not read anything else. I have to really push myself to try new authors. We did, a, we did a, everybody, everybody at home watching, we did a podcast um, 
last week, the week before, and Alex, when he was editing it, told me that I spoke non-stop for eight minutes without anyone getting a word in choice. And I'm going to do it again. <laughs> We've established <laughs> that I can talk for a long time on a topic. Because it's all stuff that really interests me. Um, but I have now lost my train of thought saying that. So, I don't yeah, know Yeah, cut how. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you read a series like that, because I can't do it. I have to have one book and finish it at that one book. I might go back to the author at some point in the future really? but not um, oh no that's not definitely how I break. Mm-hmm. the point I was going to make just was I, I very rarely so I very rarely get anything new in but the last mm-hmm. thing I did my hairdresser gave me mm-hmm. so I was having my hair cut and we were talking as you do and um, he had bought this book when he was on holiday last and he hadn't got on with it at all and he thought I might like it so he gave it me and it was oh and I can't remember the author's name Wait, you're very close with your hairdresser if he's uh, bringing books in specifically. For no, you. he brought it in to give to somebody. <laughs> okay. But then as he was talking to me, he thought, okay. this is that somebody. Okay. And he gave it, um, he gave it to me. But oh, I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to get Alex to Google and buy and see so I can remember who the author is. I can't even remember the names of any of the key characters. But the first book in the series, Alex, is called um, Seven Ancient Wonders. But that was not the book that Simon, my hairdresser, gave me. Mm-hmm. He gave me the three, no, not the three, it was the four, four legendary kingdoms. No, it wasn't, it was the five. Anyway, something late, and the series goes seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. So he gave me one in the middle of the series. So then I had to go back and read the first one, read all the other, buy, I had to buy and read all the others <laughs> to get to this point. Then I could read the one that he'd given me, which was happened to be the latest one, so now I've got to wait for the other one to come out. Maybe but that's then, why I didn't enjoy it, though. Because it was midway through. Yeah. Well, next time I see him, I'm going to tell him this. But then I really liked, thought this author was quite good, so now I've then read lots of other books that he's written. So I've read nothing but that particular author mm-hmm. ever since I last had my hair cut. This but is that's the, just how I'm, yeah. Mary Roach is the only author that I've actually got into, whereas I'd just read one book by a particular author and then move on to another author. Because mm, I, I, I believe same. in one hit wonders. Yeah, and I also pretty opposite the new art because I can't really stand science fiction. Mm, Everything that yeah. I read or that I watch, it, yeah. it needs to be as close as reality as possible. Yeah, really. <laughs> See, it's escapism for me. Matthew Riley is the author. It's come to me. Um, no, it's it's escapism, absolutely. So that was one of the questions I wanted to ask in this: what we get out of reading. So for me, that reading for pleasure is all about taking myself outside of what's going on. Mm-hmm and into a different place. I'm just, I'm really bad at this. This is our first live dream, and as I said, I've just, that thumbs up was to Alex, because he just told me that we're nearing 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, so what, what, do you, what do you get out of it, Diana? I think, that, I think that I'm always looking for learning something new and for some information, really. Um, and mm. also, I, I also reflect upon things that I do and maybe change them when I find something interesting, um, maybe find easy life hacks, stuff mm. like that, really. Mm. I'm really looking to apply the knowledge I gain. That's really interesting. Mm-hmm. Very true to the skills. Yes. Mission. But then to relax more in depth, I'll just watch Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. How about you, Catherine? What um, do you get out of your reading for I think it's more about gaining experience about other people. So, I, like I said with Mary Roach, it's about her experience. When I read um, fiction, it's about the experience of that character. I want to get into the mind of that character and really understand them as a pers- person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have to be really clear. I have to be really clear. When I was younger, I would get very involved in books. Mm. So I would, I would sit in a chair and I could quite easily read for you know, four or five hours solid without mm-hmm. talking to anybody. And I would, I'd get to the end of the book, just turn around, start at the first page and read it again. Really? I could, so I could sit and read a book you know, twice in one sitting without looking up or talking. I'm to struggling to sit still for 10 minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> but I did used to find that I'd come out of this and really find it difficult to connect back with the real world almost. Mm. I'd be so immersed in that world that I'd have to remind myself that that wasn't real. But this is why you like science fiction. Mm. The world building. Yes, that's true. Mm-hmm. Good science fiction is that is that whole universe. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Very much so. What do you want to read next, Diana? Hmm. Good question. Well, I got a book which is business related. It's called Start With Why. Um, and I'm saying that I'm going to read it, I think, for six months now. 
I want to start it once I finish the, finish the motivation one. Why? <laughs> 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 well, one of the reasons would be because one day I wish I will build my own business, so mm. I'm preparing for it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. How about you, Catherine? What's your next? Um, so I've just submitted an assignment, which means I've got time to read. <laughs> so I bought myself a Mary Roach book, hopefully yeah. coming tomorrow. And I've just bought the Tattooist of Auschwitz as well. Um, so I'm going to go between those. See, again, talking about opposites, that's the absolute opposite of the kind of thing I'd want to read mm. because that is not taking me out of the world and the horrible mm. things in oh, it. I know, I like the horrible things mm. in the world. It's interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do next reading wise. That was a question I asked that I hadn't thought of an answer to myself. Um, I, I, I'm in the middle of a book at the moment, I think. So I'll probably need to finish that before yeah. I go on to the next one. <laughs> mm. Lovely. I think that wraps up our time for today. Um, thank you, Catherine. Thank, thank you, you, Diana. Thank you, the, li- the listener, the viewer. Thank you, the viewer, for joining us and come back for many more Skills Team live streams in the future. We'll see you next week. (laughs) Don't forget to subscribe. (laughs) No, click, what is it? Click the button and ring the bell.